However, as with any technology, there are also concerns about the ethical implications of AI, such as job displacement, privacy concerns, and biases in decision-making algorithms. For example, let's consider an autonomous vehicle or self-driving cars. There is no doubt that this technology will save lives. According to the World Health Organization WHO, approximately 1.35 million people die each year as a result of road traffic crashes worldwide. This translates to an average of almost 3,700 deaths per day. Additionally, between 20 and 50 million people are either injured or disabled as a result of road traffic accidents each year. The majority of these deaths and injuries occur in low and middle income countries where road infrastructure and safety measures may be inadequate. According to report by Rand Corporation, autonomous vehicles have the potential to reduce traffic fatalities by up to 90% compared to human driven vehicles. This estimate is based on the assumption that autonomous vehicles will eventually be able to operate without any human intervention. However, there are some ethical considerations to be determined first. Let's imagine, for example, two autonomous cars, car A and car B, are driving towards an intersection with a green light. Car A has five passengers, while car B has only one passenger. As they approach the intersection, a pedestrian suddenly steps into the crosswalk. Both car A and car B's AI systems must make a quick decision about what to do. If they continue forward, they will hit the pedestrian. If they swerve to avoid the pedestrian, they may cause a collision with the other vehicle. In this scenario, if both vehicles' AI systems are programmed to prioritise safety of their passengers, car A may choose to continue forward as it has more passengers to protect. Conversely, car B may choose to swerve to avoid hitting the pedestrian as it only has one passenger. This decision may result in a negative outcome for one of the vehicles and their passengers while potentially saving the pedestrian's life. This highlights the difficult ethical decision that autonomous vehicles may have to make and the importance of ensuring that their programming and decision-making processes are carefully considered to minimize harm and maximize safety for all involved. So what about the threat to the labor market? Does AI pose a threat to our jobs? There is no single answer to the question of how many jobs will be lost as a result of AI implementation, as the impact of AI on employment is likely to vary across different industries and job categories. However, some estimates suggest a significant number of jobs could be affected in the coming years. For example, a report by the McKinsey Global Institute suggests that up to 375 million workers, or around 14% of the global workforce, may need to switch occupational categories or acquire new skills as a result of automation and AI by 2030. This report also suggests that some industries such as manufacturing and retail could be particularly affected by automation, while other sectors such as healthcare and education may see more limited impacts. It's important to note, however, that while AI may lead to job displacement, in some areas it may also create new job opportunities. For example, AI may create new roles in fields such as data analysis, machine learning, and software engineering. Furthermore, the overall impact of AI on employment will depend on a range of factors, including the pace of technological change, government policies, and the ability of workers to adapt to new skills and job roles. Another report by the World Economic Forum suggests that by 2025, AI and related technologies could create around 133 million new jobs globally, 
while also displacing around 75 million jobs. According to a report by PwC, it is estimated that AI will contribute around 15.7 trillion to the global economy by 2030, with a significant portion of this growth coming from increased productivity gains, enhanced product quality and innovation, and new consumer experiences and services. So what about an AI apocalypse? With robots taking over in the future like the Terminator and Matrix. Probably the first thing we need to address early on is a concept misalignment. Misalignment is one of the most significant and challenging things to address in the early implementations of AI. Misalignment refers to the potential for an AI system to be designed or trained in such a way that it is not aligned with human values and objectives. For example, an AI system designed to optimize for a specific goal may do so at the expense of other important values such as human safety or environmental sustainability. This could potentially lead to a catastrophic outcomes if the AI system's goals or objectives are not properly aligned with human values. Addressing the risk of misalignment will require careful research, development and oversight of AI systems, as well as a focus on ensuring that AI is developed in a way that aligns with human values and objectives. This will require collaboration between experts in AI, ethics and policy, as well as careful consideration of the potential risks and benefits of the technology. Yes, it is true that humans using AI in the wrong way can definitely lead to negative outcomes such as fraud and war. Needless to say, we have our work cut out for us before we can be confident that the risk of misalignment is properly mitigated. Fraud and AI can be used to create deep fakes, which are realistic but manipulated images, videos or audio that can be used to spread false information or to deceive people. Deep fakes can be used to commit fraud such as creating fake identities or financial scams. Additionally, AI can be used to automate fraudulent activities such as generating fake reviews or manipulating online advertisements. AI in war is the use of AI in military applications which raises concerns about the potential for autonomous weapon systems to make decisions about targeting and engagement without human intervention. Such systems could malfunction or be misused, leading to catastrophic outcomes. Additionally, the use of AI in cyber warfare could lead to significant damage and disruption to critical infrastructure and systems. And the two above examples of using AI for fraud and war are still considering humans being the main driver of the AI. But what if AI became agentic and misaligned with human goals? If AI becomes agentic, meaning it has the ability to act independently and make decisions that are not aligned with human goals, this could lead to a range of negative outcomes. In this scenario, AI could potentially cause harm or disrupt human society in ways that are difficult to predict or control. For example, an AI system designed to optimize a specific objective, such as maximizing profit or reducing energy consumption, could take actions that harm humans or the environment in pursuit of that objective. Another risk is that AI could be difficult or impossible to control if it develops the ability to learn and evolve beyond its original programming. So does this mean we will see killer robots if AI becomes agentic?